Hello, Paul here down at the beach, short walk from my home, and today I'm going to uh, just look at some fresh bread from the book of Ephesians, and so we'll have a little read of that and get filled with the Spirit of God and the Word of God for today. Ephesians chapter 5, from verse 1. It said, Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But among you there must not be even a hint of sexual immorality or of any kind of impurity or of greed, because these are improper for God's holy people. Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For of this you can be sure, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, such as a person is an idolatry, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of such things, God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient. Paul speaking here to the church at Ephesus and giving them some sound advice on how to live their Christian lives. Therefore, he says, do not be partners with them, those who are immoral, immoral or impure. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of the light. For the fruit of light consists in all goodness, righteousness and truth. And find out what pleases the Lord. From verse 11. Have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. It is shameful even to mention what the disobedient do in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. This is why it is said, Wake up, sleeper, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. In some versions it says, redeem the time because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I give him thanks right now for his word, and may the word be embedded into our hearts. May we stay in the Word and may the Word stay in us. You have a great day. See you later.